This one is gouache. This one is um, watercolour. And what we're going to do now, I'm going to go in with a pink. So there you go, as you can see. So we're just lifting that lid back. Getting a little bit of the colour, the brush is wet, and we're going to do have stripes, candy, and just stripes. So I'm laying my colour down pretty much the same way as I would with my watercolour. So yeah, I'm finding it harder to sort of pull, make the colour last. For the entire room um, you know it's it's dragging whereas if you've got watercolor it, it, you can go for ages but i still like the effect that it's giving and that really vibrant pink as well dad's going to uh, mute his phone any second Real. Really like that. It's going to be a yummy Sunday. Pulling that colour along. And again, I'm going to go heavier on the pink colour just in this left hand corner. Go back in for the comparison and do the same with pink watercolour. But I like that. Oh, we'll have this. This kind of pink. Right. So, clean brush. And we're going to go in with this pink. So, these are Van Gogh. Um, the pink, uh, yeah, pinks and purples collection. As soon as I saw this, I knew that I had to have it. So, see, this is the difference with your watercolors. I'm still going with, and it's still a wet brush. I think that's what I like about watercolors. Where am I? There you go. Go back, add a little bit more colour. I thought this would be quite a good video. Um, as a lot of people are, you know, trying to make that decision, obviously it's Christmas present season as well, you know, do you want a nice set of watercolours or are you going to go make the, take the plunge and go for something a little different with the uh, gauche? Giving up calling it gouache. Uh, it takes too much thought, free thought. Yeah. So, can you see how that's coming along now? And it, there's not much, really, it's a colour difference, isn't it? So, we go down. It's picking up, just picking up the pigment there rather than adding a lot of water. And now we'll add some water to it and move that colour around. Another beauty of watercolour is if you think you, you know that oh that's a little bit too, too dark, then you just I've got a baby wipe here, and you can just pick some of the colour back off your card. Just to can you see there? That's just made that a lot lighter just by using that baby wipe there. Um, oh, this one here. Another, another brilliant thing about watercolour is, and really I'm favouring watercolours, I'm sorry, um, is that if you do make a mistake and you do go over the lines, add a little bit of water, your baby wipe, you can lift that colour off. Nine times out of ten you can lift the colour off anyway. Um, I think it does depend on what type of watercolours you've got. 
So we will go in now with some blue, no, yellow. So this is supposed to be my vanilla ice cream. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that to my mixing palette, mix it in with some white and some water. Let's reactivate, can you see that? We're reactivating that dried white. Right, so we've made like a really nice pale vanilla colour. I'm just going here. It's nice. It has, they do make nice colours. Mixing them, they do really make nice colours. So that's, that definitely is a, a bonus. See me coming out of this video having not really made a full decision which one I like or prefer. I love this stamp. It's lovely. It reminds me how much I want to go to the seaside and eat ice cream. So, I don't know if you're picking up on the fact that I'm not, um, you know, I'm not really covering my entire image in the paint. I'm leaving white areas. I just think it adds, it adds a little bit more depth to it. So the next. Now this is a diff, this is the difference you see. I'm going to go with this colour in watercolour. I'm just going to use the, this is how I do it at home. So I'm just taking a bit of the colour. Now the paler, the more watered down something is, the paler the colour you're going to get. So, let me just move that out of the way for a moment. Can you see, you just sort of add in a hint So that's the thing with the watercolours. There you go, look. You wouldn't have thought that using such a dark colour was going to get you this really pale vanilla colour. But it does. And when it dries, it dries paler as well. Okay. Deepen those colours. See if you by adding the little bits of shade, it just adds to that. See when I'm looking at it on the monitor, I'm going for the watercolour version over the gauche, but that's just me. I think it's because of the colours. What do you think, Dad? I don't know. It's close, isn't it? It's very close. close it's very it's close. close. Okay. So go baby blue at the bottom so I've got my baby blue so the this uh, the little well the full pans that you see me using are the Cure Ganzai Tambi um, large set of watercolours you were going to say Cure Tappy I was I think it's the same mate well I think they're mate yeah um, mine are a little bit more oh. worn yeah. worn we'll just be kind edge, with worn Dads are like brand new. Christine. Yes. So we'll go blue. At the bottom. And then all I'm going to do is just deepen that colour at the edges. Now this really is a, a very pale baby blue colour. And it'll be darker down at the base there. 
Şeyde. Rather it gives the illusion of it tapering in there. Um, is there anything else I want below? Yeah. I need to go for some of these baubles. Baubles. Sweets. Yeah, look at sweets. Blue. It's really starting to come alive now. I like that. Do the candy. Candy stick. Okay. So blue. This one is my gauche blue. Go with these first. Pop a bit on, and then again, I'm just going to use some water to move that colour around. This is a much brighter blue. More pigmented, I think, actually. Yeah, I do what I like. It's, it's easy to use. I just took a little bit of the water off my brush so I'm using the baby wipe. Let's see if we can lift some of that colour in the middle of the blue. Just to make it a little paler. Doing it with the white white, that is the one, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can, that's lifting nicely. There you go, look, that's lifted the colour from the middle of it. So that's another technique that you can use with it to make the colours paler. So we will go in with the blue with the candy stick. so yep they had started to dry I could quite easily add a little bit of water to be able to move that colour around again right purple oh that looks just come off all together so we'll just use the top of this and um, more parts can be purple We'll save the strands for glitter. And do the fluff lump. Purple. Going back to the Van Gogh set and the lilac. It's quite a bluey lilac actually, that in comparison. It is. Isn't it? Yeah. Very, very close to that baby blue. Hmm. I didn't realise that. Okay. Right, so we'll go in with red for oh, your yeah, candy canes. This is such a vibrant red. Oh, wow, that's a gorgeous colour. This would look nice on Sunny's, Sunny's lips, this colour. with that look at that that looks lovely that's really made it pop now with a red and white straw red with that Right. 
So red. Now yeah, first selection of reds here. Which one? Which one? This one looks like to be the one that matches the most. And they do have numbers underneath them, so this one's number 30. That's very pigmented there. Almost more pigmented really than the brush. Okay, so we're just filling the little gaps with any other colours. Um, Oh yeah. Got to get used to looking at the monitor. Isn't it? So, little pink. And then I'm just going to give it a little blast with the dryer. Dad might do the same with the so then I can add my glitter. One second. Dad, mm -hmm. just to quicken up the process, normally I'd just leave it to dry, naturally. So, I've not really helped, I suppose, in anybody's decision whether which one's better. It really was more, really, a comparison just to say, you know, what they look like side by side. Um, I mean, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a stickler for my watercolors because I like I like the way they move. But yet you bought the other one because I wanted to try them, and I will definitely definitely use them. I mean, they are as soon as you pop them on your your project, you know, they really are. They do work lovely. It is down to personal preference, I think. Yeah. So, oh, I've just got one. That'll get on my nerves if I ain't done it. I'll do this blue. I've just messed up now. I've just added watercolour to this one, but it doesn't matter. Just shows how versatile it is. You can use it on anything. Mm -hmm. Right, so Dad, you dry that one for me, and I'm going to take a little bit of the red off this. I'll dry it, and we'll add our glitter. And then our brush versus watercolour is complete. If I don't dry them, then all the glitter is just going to stick to everything and you'll not get a good look. Right. So if your card is curling up a little bit, just turn it over and run the heat gun over the opposite side. Right. Watercolour. Go. Mm -hmm, that's right. Yeah. And I can tell the colours are deeper mm -hmm. on this one than this one. Right. Okay, so glitter with a glue. Right, so... Oops. Okay. 
have the baby one. Right now, I'm going to use um, a glitter called Unicorn Dust that we have. No, that's winter's coming. I'm going to go Unicorn Dust in it. And this will just add that final, the final touch to our creations. So, we pop me the thing back on that. I can just check that there. Uh, they should be. Okay, so there we have the two finished watercolour gauche of swap sides now. Um, and really, it's up to you which one you decide. Uh, personally, just to sum up, do like the watercolour because I like the um, the look of a watercolour. So if I move that right up to the camera, you'll be able to kind of see the watermark that it leaves. I really like that. That's just, that really is my artistic preference. And then with your gauche, you don't have the waterline. I prefer that. You prefer gauche. Mm -hmm. So we've got one gauche, one watercolour. So let me know um, in the comments and um, if you liked what you saw please don't forget to like and subscribe and join us on Facebook we are Daisy B and you can also join the hive um, but I'll the Daisy, the Daisy Bees is what I'm talking about yeah. uh, yes you can join the Daisy Bees group as well on Facebook which is awesome and everybody is so lovely and I'm just super proud of everybody that's part of it um, so thank you for watching. Bye.